Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to Alan Becker's new video, The Box, Animator vs. Animation. If you're unaware of what Animator vs. Animation is, it is a series created by Alan Becker that's been spanning back a decade, constantly upping the animation quality, being the coolest anime style stick fight animation ever. And the coolest part is this is an episode two. You see, I don't think you need episode one. Basically, one of the stick men got captured. But the thing is, this is getting lore. This is going to be some of the most balls to the walls, insanely well animated shiz you will ever see in your life. I hope you're ready. I hope your seatbelt is fuckled. We are jumping right into this, baby. I love some good quality animation. And if this has lore, dude, stickman fight animation lore, bro. And I thought I could get more hard. Can I just, just look at the quality here? You have such a good background. Then you have these stupid little stick men. <laughs> I just look so goofy. I love it so much. Look at them go. They look so out of place. And the different camera angles. Oh my God, this man. This man. Dude, every, every time I say the word lore, mark my words, it means MatPat is going to make a video about it within the next week. That always happens. I, I said, I, I'm... <laughs> Dude, if he, if he makes a video about this, I'm a genius. Alright, look at him go. A <laughs> flashback! It's a flashback! They are cooking with this enemy. Dude, the slide tracks! The skid marks! My lord. See, this is how you write a multiverse. Take that, Marvel. Take that, DC. Yes, now they look out of place. They don't just change the colors of their shirts. And it's like, oh, I'm flannel shirt, Morty. What? I'm flannel shirt, Doctor Strange. Bro, it's me. It's me. Slightly British accent Spider-Man. Dude, that is so cute. They got their wanted posters, and they are on a quest, brother. Dude, they look so out of place. Holy lord. <laughs> it's a oh god, it is so smooth. And the way it's with the other stick men in the regular world. expressive they are normally when you have like an animation without actually words it's expressive because of the facial features these stick figures are somehow so expressive not only is there no actual words there aren't even facial features that they're expressive there's so much talent that went into this an experience holy my horny ass could not be in this stick man world editor cut that out don't put that in the nux and orbit don't don't put that in Alright, just a random guy. He's wearing a cap, so you know he's a truck driver. All truck drivers wear caps. Yes, yes! The, there's no in away. Let's go! Smuggling some people! God, I love human trafficking! Uh, editor, cut that out too. Editor, I don't want any of this stuff. Make sure I don't want to get nuked, please. Just don't, don't get YouTube in trouble with me, please, editor. Dude, it's wild how expressive they are with no, no facial features. No words, no facial features, and you know exactly what they're saying. Yeah, this stream is gonna be wild. I'm so sorry, Jet. Yo, just look at the stylization of this. You know, they click on it to select it, to drag it around. That is so cute. Ah, that is the magic pencil, the brush gun pencil that could turn people into Sai from Naruto. Draw some shit, that's what he said. See, he didn't, he's so expressive that I knew he was saying, draw some shit.
Yes, and now, uh, continue drawing more shit is what he said. Oh, God. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, draw. Ah, yes. You see, now, being how I can understand how expressive he is, he says, draw saggy tits. And he's like, yes, I, I, I can. No. Oh. <laughs> They're trying to figure out how to... Okay, so they know that this pen... Dude, this is so awesome. They know that this pencil could somehow do Naruto size shit and draw real-life creatures, but they don't know how to activate the pencil. Dude, this is just the SCP! This is just Stickman SCP! They capture these wild objects, these dangerous shenanigans, and they, they test them, and they... Oh my god, this lore goes hard! Wait, dude, this really is the SCP. Here you got one guy over here that's captured that presumably the other multicolored gamers were chasing. And uh, also right over here, you have someone frozen in uh, some steel or laser shenanigans that stops him from using powers or something. Like this is just Stickman SCP where they're just capturing stick people with powers. Right, and they lock them each in different containment cells because they each have different powers. Ah. We have sent you to deep last operation. To be fodder. And it's all these guys. Dude, see, the different styles of stick figures from different worlds, they formed like a Spider-Verse task force. Dog, that is so dope. All right, when's Matt Pat making a video about this? God damn, not gonna lie, this guy kind of thick. Damn. I guess that's the later here. Look how stylized this shit is. It's so fire. containment it literally is he did not need to free him if he was if he's trapped here because he's some sort of danger to society they could have just left him there for eternity they could have just left him in one spot in that cell but no they want to test him they want to see what makes him tick <laughs> they can reverse that stuff the styles of like the selection tools and everything. Oh my god. Dude, it looks so fire. They're practicing different ways to contain them. That's crazy. That's wild. I can't believe this is just SCP Stickman. I cannot believe I even get that reference. Polishing his spear? What? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's... Oh, you're approaching me. Kick him in the balls. Kick him in the nuts. What? Huh? So in this little, in this cube, they really can control basically everything that's going on. It looks so good. I get 
said it, he could shoot lasers and stuff, but why are they doing this? Are they just, do they just want to see the limits of what he could do? Is this really is vindictive stickman animation SCP? That's crazy. I don't know. I'm just like incredibly impressed. Dude, like this their select his throat. They're choking him with the selection tool. Oh god, I am just I am jealous of the creativity that went into this. Dude, I love stick figure fights so much. This is better than 90% of anime, I'm just saying. This choreography is actually great. Dude, look at this. There's no, there is no anime with choreography this good. I'm just saying. Maybe I could think of three anime with choreography this good. going on here D chat saying oh it's because he's a black stick man no stop it don't <laughs> why would you say that are they trying to control him do they want to like mind break him do they want to test their abilities like there's so many questions as to why they're doing this <laughs> so good it looks so good <laughs> Do they just want to see just like as a test to see if he could act they give him his full powers but maybe five on one he'll he'll lose right now so they're just testing this shit <laughs> an unfair fight like i i can't help but feel so bad for this guy this, this guy over here this black stick figure dude this is just the chosen one but the chosen one that's in a position that he can't win dude look how sick all right the dodge, the dodge. he throws the fireball the guy outside select catches it and throws it back at him my god that is so unfair <laughs> Oh, oh! Brother, 
He that was a sick move. That was such a sick move. But it doesn't matter because the literal gods on the outside that are using their selection weren't letting it happen. I guess they're impressed by that date. Oh, what? What was that, bro? Dude, I my horny ass is not ready for this stickman animation. I am not gonna lie to you. Alright, what are they doing? Oh, they're gonna get him to try to teach them how to use the pencil. Drawing dragons. What do you think he's Kaiba? Just drawing cartoon dragons, waiting for them to come to life. Oh, they have the eraser tool ready, just in case. This is containment. This is just a wild, wacky version of containment, where in these things, they have, like, absolute control in these cells. <laughs> like, hey, dude. Use this pencil. Dude, that, that was so good. You could so see what they were just saying. They said, we have absolute control of everything in this field. We can select you and drag you around and all that shit. We could delete you. Now, don't try anything funny. Show us how to use the pencil. Yeah, these colorful stick men are SCPs it's in this world, and they're just testing out their shit. Dude, just that animation of the, like, depth perception of that shot. That is so good! The way they use the depth perception, that's insanity. We control everything in this space. We can select you, delete you, shrink you. We can even jerk you off against your will. It was me, Barry. Show us how to draw this shit. And they have no idea what they just saw. They're like, okay, that doesn't help us at all. Oh. Oh. Dude, the animation is so clean. Wait, is it actually going to break out? Dude, you have a pencil! You clearly can do something! Get out of there, bro! God damn! He's about to breach containment, baby! Insert a light bulb for the interrogation scene. That's awesome. Talk, bud. Oh, no matter how much bondage sex we have, I will tell you nothing! on. 
analyzing this man. <laughs> trying to find out where he came from and he came from the alternate world he came from the the computer of alan becker they're trying to figure out who the creator of this is dude that's gonna be the lore s these in this world these stick figures are in existence purely because they were created by alan becker now this guy knows he was created he is the original character from the stick man versus creator universe right the animator versus animation universe these guys captured him and are literally trying to find out who their god is that's gonna be what the overarching lore here is going is happening <gasps> that's actually so wild that's such a good story right and the orange guy is also from the original alan becker guy but he's the og og this black stick figure from the very first animation you know 10 years ago Remember what I said earlier? The second I saw this stuff and I was like, oh damn, there's lore, and I said MatPat's gonna do it? Bro, MatPat's gonna do it. And I, you bet your ass, he is going to make a 15 minute video detailing the exact theory that I just said in 30 seconds. It's gonna happen, bro. What, honey? They saw something. Not only are the fight scenes fire, but there's an actual story here? What is this arrow? <gasps> Dude! That's what they were asking. They showed in the picture of the arrow and they said, what is this arrow? This arrow is an anomaly. This arrow is Alan Becker's arrow. It is an arrow by the create the cursor, sorry. This cursor is the cursor God's cursor. This is the creator's cursor. He look at his logo. He is the cursor. So these guys are trying to figure out what this cursor is that breached our reality dog that is such a cool fucking premise <laughs> Dude, i love stories so much stories and animation are literally some of my favorite things i am so blown away basically alan becker has a god complex is what i'm trying to say basically bro thinks he's like that <laughs> straw hats dude this is baroque works planning to take over alabaster for years everything going perfectly and then random multicolored the straw hats fucking show up and they're like hey guys we don't know what's freaking going on but hell yeah <laughs> thickness of this line bro i can increase the length and girth of my shaft at will
are the worst infiltrators I've ever seen. They found a whole ass secret government base that captured their friend. They sneak into a truck. They just walk out in front of the security cameras. They are the worst infiltrators in the histo history of infiltration. These guys are ocean, not oceans 11. These guys are oceans negative 12. <laughs> This anomaly shakes everyone. All right, you have all these wild characters that don't know what's going on, but this, this is an anomaly that goes far beyond the lore of their world. That is a great way to end the episode. Dude, I am so into this now. Oh my God. Oh my God, I am so into this. Subscribe, like, d check out Alan Becker because this was glorious. And when Matt Pat makes a video, remember to say Billy moment in his comment section. I'll know what it means, and it's not harassing anybody, but it's funny as hell. And definitely, if you're watching my streams, comment Billy moments on my videos so I know you're there anyway. All right, all right, all right. That was awesome. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.